Well, no, I, I genuinely appreciate you responding to my letter. Uh, a lot of times we send these letters and we don't get a response. We may have a disagreement on the issue, but my concern at the time uh, in response to your comments that we need to use photos to enforce diversity for general officer, flag officer selection boards was that we we're going to start explicitly judging people by the color of their skin, and that might sort of paradoxically stoke racial tension as opposed to alleviate it, as well as undermine sort of the concept of a colorblind meritocracy, which my view is essential to the military. Your response was, well, I'll let you respond and characterize your response as opposed to mischaracterizing it myself. Um, sir, thanks for that. Um, and those comments at Sea Air Space, um, and, uh, and, and I, I think what I would uh, zero in on is that when we talk about diversity, we always talk about not only diversity of race, gender, and ethnicity, but of thought of where you're from, Wisconsin, for instance, uh, or uh, how you attack problems. And we value all of that. So for us, it's all about war fighting readiness. So, so that's, that's really the point that we want to make. And to your point, um, we don't ever want um, in the Navy, or I think any of the services, uh, to not give both the reality uh, as well as the appearance of being a meritocracy. So we do think that that is uh, very important. I do, I do appreciate that because I think sometimes when we hear the CNO or other Navy officials say diversity is our strength, it raises the question, well, what type of diversity are we talking about? Yes, sir. If we're solely talking about racial and gender diversity to the exclusion of intellectual diversity, then we might have a disagreement on, on this committee. Um, and I, I'm hearing you say we're talking about all sorts of different types, correct? Uh, that, that is true, sir. And, and, and the way that we characterize it is that um, you not only want a diverse team, but you have to lead it inclusively so that everybody is a part of that team and they're buying in. Uh, and so that's part of uh, not, not your question, but as we look at what we're calling our culture of excellence, that's all part and parcel of that. So again, about war fighting readiness. And I think is the, is the issue in the Navy, because the Navy concedes it is more diverse than the rest of the population, but the issue is specifically with the flag officer class, which is not as diverse as the rest of the and that, And that's a great point, sir. So I, I will tell you, one, so we, we do know, though, we need to bring more diversity in the front door across all of the areas that you have been talking about. And then we've got to do a better job retaining it. And then as we look at the flag ranks, while we have made progress there, um, we're not where we want to be. Um, in most meetings, I look around the room, and it's a lot of folks that look very much like me. Um, so uh, that where the rubber meets the road in the Navy is our 17 communities. Yeah. And so um, the CNO and the vice chief uh, meet biannually, so twice a year with the three star that, that leads each of those communities. And they talk about what are you doing across character, across competence, and then connectedness. And they specifically look at how are you developing your leaders 040506 so that we actually have the folks going into those flag boards. So for the, you've made this claim that diverse teams that are led inclusively perform better. And does the Navy have data to support that claim? And I, what type of diversity you're talking about in that context? I, so, so I will tell you, a lot of times when you hear that, you, there are Harvard Business Studies um, or uh, from academia that, that will give that to you. And typically, they're talking more from the standpoint of race, gender, and ethnicity. So, but, but so we certainly know, though, that when we look at ships that are knocking out of the ballpark uh, during their uh, deployment workups, it's, it's, uh, it's a diverse team across all those areas, and it's led inclusively. Um, we are just now, though, getting after the better data collection to be able to say, here's that outcome, and now we can link that all the way. Back. Again, it's like what type of diversity, though? If it's true that more racially or gender diverse teams on ships perform better. That's an interesting finding, but when you actually look at documents the Navy has produced for evidence, it's not saying that. Specifically, you cite in the Task Force One Navy report, cites a, an article from 2014 from the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, which took 180 people with finance experience and gave them brief exposure to diversity, basically taking a white participant to a non-white participant, and then sent them to individual computer terminals to make fake bets on fake stock markets. And that's the citation that the Navy uses to say diverse teams are 58% more likely than non-diverse teams to accurately such a situation. I think that, I actually think it undermines the case because it's such a poorly designed study 
that's not applicable to the world of finance, let alone to the specific business of asking young men and women to kill and be killed for their country. The other study you said the Navy cites is this 2015 McKinsey study called Diversity Matters. It omits half the data set, and it also has this complicated formula for quantifying sort of the diversity of a board that makes no sense if you dig into it. So I just bring, I run out of time. I know this is a fraught topic. I actually think if we had better social science, we'd better answer this question. In the, the report that was just mentioned that we read into the record, if you look at the methods, I just got this, so I, forgive me. It, it admits it's not a statistically representative sample. So what are we supposed to do with it if we can't, if we can't even understand the problem? I, I don't know how we can devise a solution. So I've gone over my time. I'm sorry, Madam Chairwoman. You can take it from future time. 